So this is why Rick Shields is barely an 18 handicap golfer at the moment. So let me explain what this triangle is. So this is the triangle of incompetence, and this explains why Rick Shields is struggling so much with his game right now. But we're gonna get back to this, and I'll explain at the end of the video. Now, before we get into Rick Shields' golf swing, I think we should first establish what a good golf swing is. So in my opinion, a good golf swing is consistent delivery at contact of the club head without excess manipulation of the club face and the body moving overall as a cohesive unit. So on that note, we're gonna bring up a scale, a golf swing scale. Getting very artistic, sir. This is a straight line, straight white line. Don't get too excited. So on this side, if you actually zoom in, that said, great. And this bit would say, all the way down here, a bit shit. So an interesting question at this point, does aesthetics play its role in the overall quality of a golf swing? So let's bring in Jim Furyk. Arguably one of the less aesthetic golf swings of all time. Where would we put Jim Furyk from a bit shit to great? I'll tell you where we put Jim. Jim. Jim Furyk is the fifth highest earner on the PJ Tour of all time with over $70 million. And if you look at Jim Furyk, through impact, which is the most important part of the golf swing, look at the way the body moves as a cohesive unit. And if you look at the club face, that is probably one of the most stable club faces of all time. And that is why Jim Furyk is here. I hope this is, is it I before the issues? Oh, yeah. I think that's a fair shout. Rick, I'm not gonna be a complete the whole way through the video. Rick currently is down here. Uh, let me explain why. So we're gonna actually go into Rick Shields' golf swing right now. So what Rick Shields does not do is move his body as a cohesive unit. And he has so much manipulation of the club face, and this is why Rick equals 18 handicap at the moment. The less you need to manipulate the body and the club face, the easier it is to consistently get to contact, and that is a good golf swing. So I've actually got a little uh, swing video of Rick recently, and I want you to have a look at this. Aesthetically, if you just look at it as an overall golf swing, it's got a nice rhythm, and there's some nice looking moves. But if you look at it under the surgical eye, you're gonna to start to see why Rick struggles. So first of all, so instantly, the relationship with the club face to the body just goes. He gets that club way open early, and then there's excess travel to the top where his arms move. So from the top, the club drops really deep on the inside. And then because of that, because he's got an open face and the club has dropped behind him, his body, his lower body has to actually stop. And then it's just a catch up game. So he now has to time the club face and his body slowing down in order to find square. That is not easy to do consistently. And this brings me to the triangle of incompetence. So GS at the top, it's the foundation. This is the golf swing. So we just established Rick's golf swing is not gonna be the most consistent move. He drops it deep, the club face is very open at the top and there's a lot of manipulation needed at the bottom. His Body has to stop, the hands have to catch up to hit good golf shots. Secondly, practice. Now when Rick's busy, he's a YouTuber, so he may not be too worried about getting to that next level as a golfer, but I think what Rick probably wants is to be able to perform when he plays against Sergio Garcia. And don't get me wrong, it must be really hard if you're struggling with your game and then you just go and play with Sergio Garcia. You want to perform, you want to enjoy the day, but you're struggling with your golf swing and it just ruins the day. So I do feel for him in that regard and that brings us onto the mental side. So because he's struggling with that, and because he can't practice, his mental state, stares a bit extreme, his mental game is suffering as a degree. So this basically all adds up to the triangle of incompetence. 
Now, can Rick be a good golfer? Obviously, he can be a good golfer because he's got down to the handicap needed when the handicaps were, you know, the old system. To get down to do his PGA, he could probably be a good golfer if he, firstly, sorted this bit out. Secondly, could practice a bit more and then he would then have confidence in his mental game would improve. So I feel like this is why he is currently where he is. I think it's interesting to comment on this because, you know, he's the biggest YouTuber in the golfing space and he's playing consistently with these amazing names in golf. And I imagine he probably just wants to get his golf game to a point where he can consistently just play good enough so he's happy. So if you want to see a video on me further breaking down his golf swing and actually showing what I think he should do with his golf swing, leave a comment below and we'll be back with that one soon. And Rick, um, just try and take it with a grain of salt. I'm not, I'm not trying to be a knob. <laughs>